So I got my hands on a couple of those mystery dino eggs that hatch when left in water for an extended period of time. I thought to myself, who would enjoy watching this hatch with me? YouTube and my friends on Facebook. Those people are into all sorts of weird stuff. I don't knock it as I've been known to go down YouTube rabbit holes myself. A personal favorite of mine is abandonment porn. Those are the videos where people are exploring sometimes not so old abandoned buildings. Most places are overgrown and falling apart. I don't recommend anyone doing this, but if you do and you share the videos with us, thank you. My personal favorites are when they're crawling through abandoned shopping malls. I don't know why. It's probably complicated. Anyway, while I'm recording the hatching of the egg over literally, and you can ask Tom, literally four days, I've been playing Outer Worlds, which has just been fantastic. It was developed by Obsidian Entertainment, the guys who brought us South Park, The Stick of Truth, Knights of the Old Republic 2, and most importantly here, Fallout New Vegas, with the huge honorable mention of Alpha Protocol. I really want to get my hands on a copy of that, and when I do, I'll probably make a video about it. So why is Fallout so important here, you might be asking? It's because this feels so much like Fallout. I don't want to emphasize that too much though, because I don't think it's fair to compare new franchises to ones that have been established with their own dedicated fan bases. That aside, this is the best game I've played all year. Outer Worlds is a planet hopping exploration adventure survival RPG. It's weird and funny in this, are you serious? Oh, you're serious type of way. The story, characters, and universe don't really bring anything new or different to the sci-fi space, and I think the game knows it. You wake up in a cryogenic tube, and this old man tells you you're the last hope for the others on the ship. They're all still frozen for some reason, and he's sending you on this adventure which hopefully ends with everyone being thawed out, safe and happy so they can go on to live long and fulfilling lives on a beautiful colony somewhere out there in space. I honestly think they're all dead, but I've never been an optimist in these situations. Soon after you create your character, disseminate your skill points and give it a name, you'll be gathering companions, traveling between colonies, shooting and sweet talking your way to various objectives. This game really captures my imagination in ways few games could. I've always preferred the approach of what would I do in this situation rather than what would this character do. There are very few games that can do that for me. When they do, and when they get it right, I'll play that game till I die. This game is seriously scratching that itch in a way I thought only one other game could. I believe I'm in the middle of the first act of the game. It just feels like there's so much room to grow, but it also feels like the game is growing while I play. Or this game's world is slowly and almost organically revealing itself to me. I guess that's what exploration is all about, isn't it? finding new places and gathering information about those places. Brilliant. I hope it goes without saying. I'm going to be playing this game for a while. Since I've really only just started playing, I don't want to pass judgment or put any expectations on the game. I think that could ruin the experience for myself and anyone who happens across this video. Besides, Outer Worlds 2 was just announced, so if anyone who has completed this game is left for wanting more, you're going to get it soon enough. I think that's all I've got for this video. Stay tuned for an image reveal of the mystery dino. I'm just going to pull it out of the egg. This has taken way too long. Man, I hope it's a triceratops or a velociraptor. Something badass. Anyway, peace out. Oh yeah, ooh, ah, that's how it always starts. But then later there's running and then screaming.